Hey, Jonathan Edward here. How you doing? So, uh, I was watching the news the other day, and uh, they were talking about the situation in Eastern Africa. It's all the uh, folks that are starving over there. No food, no water. Crossing the desert. Seeking relief, help. It's an awful situation. Awful. Unbelievably awful. And uh, some of the statistics I saw on the news, around 29,000 children dead in the last two to three months from starvation, lack of water. And uh, so I was talking to uh, this Christian friend of mine. Most of you know I'm an atheist. And uh, so I was talking to him. And he told me that, uh, you know, things like that happen for a reason. Some things we just don't understand. Uh, he also said that sometimes things like that happen because we're bad people. And uh, that it's up to us to take care of the other humans on the planet. Well, see this guy I'm talking about, he believes in a, in a f omnipresent and omnipotent God, which means that he's everywhere. He's everywhere, he sees everything. So my thought is, he had to watch like every single child slowly die. You know, he had to sit there and watch every single one of them. He had to see the parents, the family members, and the friends cry, mourn, beg, beg the heavens for some sort of divine intervention, for some sort of help. And uh, they got nothing, you know. Sounds to me like a god like that would either have to be uh, very cruel and evil or unable to do anything about it although there's another option maybe there is no god hmm How about that is that possible hmm I don't know, man. It just seems like all these Christian apologists, you know, they got an answer for everything. Some horrible situation like that. And uh, anything to insulate themselves from uh, the truth is it just, you know, we're here, man. We're here on this planet. Uh, don't know how we got here. As an atheist, all I can say is that I don't, I don't believe in magic. I don't believe in a supernatural realm. But I don't have the answers, you know. I'm not saying I know where we came from. But, uh, you know, just to say that magic did it, you know. If we don't have the answer, we're not sure to just default and say that some sort of uh, celestial being, some sort of magic did it. It just seems like a, a cop-out to me, you know. Like, we just need the answers. we got to have them. So we make them up. Because we're massively insecure creatures, I guess. Anyways... That situation in Africa, man, is awful. I've got kids. I can't imagine sitting there and watching my kids slowly die and me have the ability to intervene and not do it. You know? To not get them some water. To not give them some food. And for a God to be able to sit there and do that and watch that and do nothing is 
it's just an impossible thought in my head. You know, that's just, that's just nuts. So uh, I'm going to leave you now. Uh, do this. Do this. Look up Matthew 27, 52, and 53. And read that. And ask yourself, did that actually happen? Did it happen? Could it happen? Because uh, if you think it did, well, you're delusional. And uh, you should seek mental help. Feel free to uh, comment. And uh, subscribe if you want. I'll dish out more of these. Good times. Peace out.